Well, I hope you're enjoying this penultimate uh, plus one of my run at this radio show. Uh, next up, flower arranging. Now, I don't know types of flowers. I'm, I'm going on colour. So first, uh, a red one. Um, then a one with the green berries and spiky leaves. And it, uh, you take half a dozen. Then strip. <laughs> that's the axis, um, axis leaves, not on yourself. That's a little joke. But uh, in a bit out of my depth, so reducing to flower-related quit. Sorry to barge in, Elliot, uh, but uh, as this is the last show, uh, we've gone and got you something. Uh, oh. uh, a little thank you gift. Nothing special, just something from each of us. Oh, I, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Oh, well, re- read the script. Yes, I should follow my own advice. <laughs> it says uh, you're very grateful and will buy us a pint. Can I go first? Oh, the lovely Lulu. What have you got for me? Well, it's tickets to go and see something I know you're keen on. Chelsea versus Ipswich. Yeah, you're a man, you're a bloke, you like football, blah, blah. Um, uh, that's very, very nice. Uh, ni- nice thought. Uh, I mean, <laughs> thanks for thinking of me. Yeah. I got you a big bottle of whiskey because you're a man in a Top Gear magazine and a copy of The Sun. Oh. I've got you a sweet corn and coffee enema session with Roy Chubby Brown, uh-huh. plus a free pass to the exhibition of local art in Kingston upon Thames, oh, whilst being entertained by those buskers oh. who insist you clap a lot before they'll do some break dancing. Great. I mean, I mean, gr- great, 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 thank you. Great. Me next. Ah, the musical Sarah. I know you are a big film free. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Nothing you like better than sitting in the dark for two hours feasting yourself on the latest cinematic treat. Okay. So, um, I know you don't have these. It's oh. the entire set of Michael Bay's Transformer movie and the oh. American Pie box set. <laughs> oh, that's, that's, that's lovely. That's all very lovely. Um. Hello, Elliot. Hello, Dave. What have you got in store for me? Yeah, something that none of these guys have thought of. Hey, that's not on. Come on. Try yeah. say first, it says others. Should we try doing that all at the same yeah. time? <laughs> One, two, three. Try, try <laughs> get it again, Dave. Get <laughs> something that none of these guys even thought of. Hey, hey that's oh. not on. Hey. No, now, hold on, hold They're on. They're upset. Can you not tell? <laughs> no, they've been prompted, I can tell. Yeah. Now... I hold this cable and put this bike guard in your mouth, and put this yep. cat in one hand, and put your feet in this bucket of holy water. Okay. Hold tight. Here we go. Right. Hang on. Oh. I can't feel it. Nothing's happening. Wait a minute. Oh. Hold tight. I'm holding tight. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. There we went. Uh, <laughs> do do? Ah. Oh, God. Where am I? Nowhere. You haven't moved. Well, you have. Just upper realm. Well, what, what have you done to the others? Admit their gifts were not what you would have wanted. But, but they were here. No, no, no. You see, I've shifted them, well, you, into a sideways realm. A safe void from the embarrassment of getting gifts that you really don't like. Oh, Dave, how did you know? I don't think they know either. Listen, oh, look. Yeah, yeah. I know Elliot will love those those crass films I got him. He's such a loser. No taste in films. He doesn't need to know I got them cheap online. I know Elliot hates football and all that lad rubbish, but watching him lie to me in such a polite manner, it's such a scream. What a fool! I wonder why they cancelled Pigeon Street. That was a top show. So, there you go. Well, your, your present is... Uh, well, your present of my own self-discovery that everyone thinks I'm an idiot with no sense of cinema that they like to watch me suffer. That, that's, that's your present to me, is it? <laughs> no way. Well, if you look at it like that. Yeah. I mean, come on. I've given you a chance to peer into the mental secrets and perceive the truth behind getting lousy presents. You said realm early on. Can I, can I get back? No. Dave, is this something personal? You know what it is. It would be very elaborate and pointless to lock away a human being in a, a cut-off nether zone unless I have a sinister motive. Is it about that time? You know I hate the Simpsons. I didn't know. You didn't even bother to find out. And there wasn't a receipt. Faultless. Sarah, Elliot's not said anything for a bit. I was enjoying the silence. I thought I'd gone deaf. Hey, Dave's got that evil smile again. Hello, Elliot. Dave? If my theory's right, Dave's present was a temporal shift generator and Elliot has been transported into a higher realm of thought. I've seen it happen happen before. If you've ever queued at Subway, it's the same ballpark. The hungrier you are, the more the queue moves slowly and the sandwich operatives can't remember how to construct a simple BLT and faff their tiny see-through plastic gloves. It's a a textbook example of quasi-electric moist pan resistance between two slices of cheese and wholemeal baps. Are you sure? Well, at least it's something similar. Or something a lot less complicated, but, well... 
while those two are frozen, there's us, two girls, one guy. A wasted opportunity. Just give me five minutes, ladies, and um, wh- wh- why are you looking at me like that? Oh! Oh, I did, did I say that out loud? And it wasn't scripted. Oh, all right, yeah. Um, they're still very still and silent. What should we do? I have an idea. I could try to release them by very gently, rapidly hitting them with my guitar. Will that work? Nah, but it'll be a laugh. <laughs> uh, me first. <laughs> Um, Dave, they are both... Well, you can't hear it, but they're both smashing us in the face with Sarah's guitar. Just be thankful it's acoustic. But was that part of your... Ow! Was that part... Ow! Was that part... To, ow! Was that part of uh, both of us getting knocked about with the head... With a, wouldn't, I can't even concentrate. But, well, almost swore then, ladies and gentlemen. But I didn't. I did not swear. I'll do that again. Was that part of your plan? And to that together we would get knocked about the head with a wooden instrument that was gradually going out of tune. Ah, oh, ah, oh, ah. How was I to know? Oh. Nice present, Dave. Ah. Next time, get me a tie! <laughs>